Uh, for identity, there is some shortcut if we can remove one of the unknown by putting a suitable value of x. Uh, beware that identity, that means no matter what is x, this always correct. So you can assign any value of x if you think it's feasible. Let's say you may let x equal to 0, but if you put x equal to 0, both m and n also exist. So this is not our smart method. If we analyze this identity, When we copy down, we realize that n only exists in this term. That means when this term is equal to zero, then n will disappear. So therefore, a suitable case is when x equal to four, so this term will become zero. We take x equal to four. Because it's identity, no matter what is x, uh, this left-hand side and right-hand side are still the same. So for something plus m times something plus 1 plus 28 or 4 and then equal to m times 4, 4 plus 3 plus n, 4 minus 4. So uh, check once again, it gives you 0, so this time disappear. Only m here, so we can handle our calculation. So m equal to 92 divided by 23, we get m equal to 4. Once we know that m equal to 4, then we can just update the information. 4x squared plus 4 times x plus 1 plus 28 is always equal to 4x times x plus 3 and then plus n times x minus 4. We replace every m by 4 because we already know m is 4. After that, uh, once again, you can, this is always correct, so you just simply put any value of x. Let's say we take x is equal to 0 because I think it's more convenient. So we have 4 times 0 squared. So many terms are cancelled out because they just directly equal to 0. 32 is equal to negative 4 n. So n is equal to 32 divided by negative 4. n is negative 8. We also get the same answer. Uh, but this one I have to remind you. It's not always that you can find a single value of x to solve or uh, to remove one of the unknown. That is possible that uh, both m and n exist in multiple terms. That's why you can't cancel all of them by using a uh, suitable value of x directly. So I will suggest the general method and also general method can apply in paper 1 questions also.